This is Witchbase News for Friday the 5th of July 2019 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...the distant world's two community goals bear more fruit ...the Buckyball Racing Club announces the Seven Sisters Speedway event ...the Lavecon convention is this weekend and the Fuel Rats hit another significant milestone. Remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. You can also come and join us on the Burr Pit Discord server. This is where we organise all our outings as well as squadron and community events. And if you want to help support the work of this channel you can also join us on Patreon. Links to both of those as well as all our social media feeds are in the description below. And if you've got a piece of elite related community news you'd like us to feature you can email us via the burpit.newsdesk at gmail.com It isn't a desk. The community goals associated with the Distant Worlds 2 expedition bore more fruit this week with the completion of two construction projects at the centre of the galaxy. Firstly the expedition now has its own science relay station in the system on screen right now. The station is named The Event Horizon. I've seen that movie, it doesn't end well but I'm sure everything here will be fine. And secondly the expedition now has its own regularly scheduled mega ship tour. The DSSV Distant Worlds will be returning to the station at Explorers Anchorage every 12 weeks or so before departing on a series of jumps, one every two weeks that visit some points of interest around the galactic core. Details of the station and the megaship and where you can pick them up are linked below. The Buckyball Racing Club announced their return this week and for their next upcoming event they are revisiting one of the earliest tracks spec'd for the intergalactic racers way back in good old 3301. The Seven Sisters Speedway event has been reimagined for 3305 to take into account the changes in the Pleiades region since it was originally conceived. The event sees contestants hip hopping between the stars of the Seven Sisters constellation in the region, collecting evidence and then docking at Ohm Horizons in HIP 29312. Barring thorgoidal interference the entire race should take about 30 minutes to complete taking in a whirlwind tour around some of the stations and installations of the Seven Sisters. Alongside the main event the most crazy daring commanders can earn time bonuses by flying fast through checkpoints with the lowest adjusted time claiming the Kamikaze Cup. The race officially begins at midnight GMT on Saturday the 13th of July and full details will be added a day or two before. Get your favourite racing ships to the start line and post your intent to race on the forum. Link to the forum is listed below in the description where all the details of the event and the discord can also be found. The race is open to all participants regardless of your skill and participation just for the fun of it is absolutely encouraged. Just a quick reminder to say that the Lavecon convention is happening this weekend in the UK. There is a very heavy frontier presence at the event and they have said they are showing something. As soon as we are able to bring news to this here channel on what that something is we will. Gutted that the Burr Pit can't get there this year. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. And finally as we were going to press the heroes at the Fuel Rats announced that they have just completed their 60,000th rescue. 60 thousand rescues. That is a staggering number. Just incredible. Well done guys. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>